hope you're doing well. So, we have the very first Primark haul of 2022. Are you excited? I know I am because my lovelies, <laughs> I had to buy one of the reusable bags, which I'm all here for because I've actually been on the hunt for this. I had one in white a few months back. Mama G seems to have adopted that. So I thought, you know what? I need another one. So we have a huge, huge one pound recyclable Primark bag that didn't quite cost the pound to fill it up. Just like the older Home Bargains bag. We've got boots, we've got pyjamas, we've got jackets, we've got a bit of underwear, not too much, but you go just had to get a little bit. We have got dresses, or we've got some t-shirts, we have just got a bit of everything and anything, so my lovelies, you know the Primark hauls, they are big, it may just be one bag, but <laughs> let me tell you, this bag is filled with a lot of goodies, so please make sure you're comfortable, and let's get in with the first Primark haul of 2022. <laughs> so... Are you comfy? As I say, I am, just for reference, a size small, which is a 10 to 12. Footwear, I'm normally a size 4. And the girls, they're quite large. They are a 34D slash double D. So the underwear tops, I normally get still in a size small, which is the 10 to 12. But sometimes you might need a little bit of room. Everything you will see, we have a try on clip here or here, depending where I put it. But if it is underwear and swimwear, my lovelies, I just give you my honest opinion, all right? Let's kick it off with an essential. Bed socks. Not just any bed socks. Luxury Chanel bed socks. Well, they're called cosy socks. These were £2.50 for a pack of two. And it's just a gorgeous cream rib Chanel and also a grey one. Oh my god, these are the softest things on the planet. And you girl just had to have them. I thought they're quite nice and neutral as we're like transitioning away from Christmas. Coming into the spring. Not that the weather seems to be like it. Because the weather is C to the O to the LD cold. Let me just tell you that. I wish I could wear these all day every day. And not leave my feet. Because my tootsies, let me tell you, in my work boots get cold. And I already wear bed socks and tights. And then I'll put, if I'm wearing a dress I have tights. A pair of socks and then a pair of bed socks. And my tootsies are still cold. So, thought I would get a new little pair. You know, just to add to the collection. Right, these. Oh my god, I was so excited for. I have already tried these on. Right. How do we begin with these? So, first off, these are £20. Which, you know what? I don't think is too bad for... You can see it's like a chocolate brown croc effect boot. Not too high of a heel and a nice little toe. They are a zip though, my lovelies. And if you're like me and have got like maybe quite a chunkier thigh, or not a thigh, your calf, they won't go up. I literally got it about a quarter and then it was like, beep, break the zip if you're going to go any higher, girl. So I think I might actually go back and try these in a five and see if the five are a bit roomier because as we all know i'm trying to get like more browns and chocolates and mockers into the wardrobe and i just thought these would be absolutely great you can style them up you can style them down and for 20 quid i thought yeah they were 20 just double checking i thought that these were an absolute bargain because you see some of these items on like ego or river island and you can easily pay like 50 60 quid so I thought, hey, why not? Let's give Primark a go. And they did not disappoint. Yes, I got another scarf. All right, this one was in the sale. So I think it's like just rude not to, ain't it? So this was £8 down to £4. But how lovely is this? So it's like a maroony burgundy and white check. It's the really, really thick one. That's why it is £8. Normally the scarves are 5 to 6 at Primark. But if you get the really thick ones and also it's made using recycled plastic so it's from the Primark Cares range but I saw this and I just thought it's perfect because this actually goes quite nice with brown I think so could maybe just chuck a little bit of red in there with the brown you know but as we all know I absolutely love scarves scarves hats gloves you name it I've got quite a collection, ain't I? But it is well and truly needed for these early mornings. I do not like being out at my car at 6.30am, de-icing it, standing in the freezing cold. So best believe your girl has a hat on, gloves, scarf, 
wrapped up to the nines all right let's have a look let's have a look sticking with like the brown theme we all know what i'm like for the basics so primark's basics i think it's 350 for the round neck long sleeve plain material it's six pounds i think for the ribbed version with like a slight turtleneck but i don't know if this is a new style at all this was six pounds i picked it up in a size small but it's like a little v-neck you see that so it's still the ribbed material but instead of being the turtle and the runner it's a v-neck now i don't mind a v-neck because it could be very flattering on the girls this with some nice leather look trousers or a pencil skirt if this fits and this works i may have to go back and get every single color maybe okay just like a little little possibility that you may be seeing more of these in upcoming hauls if they stick i hope it's not just a one color one style because i looked on the rack that these were and i couldn't see them on any other color it was just in the brown all of the other ones were the traditional like roll neck versions so i'm gonna be very gutted if i can't get any more of these if these fit well but yes as i say i don't know if it's gonna fit well but you would have seen in the try on clip it's a basic. We all know I love a good Primark basic. Don't know, my lovelies. My whole wardrobe, as Mama G said, you've pretty much got every single colour of the basics. But they're called basics for a reason. Because they go with everything and you need them in your life. Right, so let's have a look. This is kind of my spring vibe, okay? I am going to use my famous saying. Famous? Shan, who do you think you are? My regular saying, all right, my lovelies. If you're a regular, you'll know this. If you're a newbie, when I get an item of clothing and it's very very long let's just say my explanation may not be fashionista correct my explanation is it goes down 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 and all around so i picked up this dress which right i'm not gonna lie i don't know if i'm gonna be able to put it off it was 15 pounds but it has a slip underneath which is great and it's just like this gorgeous pink green and yellow chiffon little dress the sleeves are cuffed now we all know how much i love a good cuff sleeve right it goes down it has the slip and it's just got a little tie at the front with a ruffle and then as it goes down 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 it just goes and has a little bit of a hem at the bottom now my thinking of this is with some chunky boots which i may or may not have purchased a pair of chunky boots to go with it but chunky boots or maybe like if say you was wearing this to go to like afternoon tea or something maybe some little heels some sandals but i really like the print mama g however when she saw it she was like oh i was like what do you mean she was like oh no sham i was like this if it looks right on me this maybe like with a leather jacket or like a suede jacket fedora we know the hats are going to start coming back out my lovelies and i don't think it's too bad it's got the slip under as well so i think I know £15, Primark prices are creeping up. I'm not going to lie, my lovelies. I did notice that when I went in. Apart from the basics, the majority of, like, dresses and items are, apart from my classic 6 to £8 dresses, they're, like, 12 15 18 20 pounds a dress. Primark's prices are slowly creeping up. I don't know if it's to do with because they're doing more, like, recycled, like, so recycled plastic for the scarf. They're trying to be a bit more eco-friendly, so thus it's reflecting in the price. And I'm going to give you a little spoiler, all right? There is some underwear in here, but we don't have any of the £5 sets. Now, if you're a regular, you will think Shannon. Shannon Lee, a Primark haul with no £5 sets. Let me tell you why, my lovelies, all right? The £5 sets I saw there... I couldn't remember which colour I'd had and what I've got. So I was kind of like, right, I need to do a little itinerary before I get any more. And also because the majority of them have gone up to £7. Now they're not a bargain at £7. You might be thinking, it's two quid. But if you know me, I buy like three or four of them at a time in a bulk. That's almost another tenner. So I'm hoping that they're going to bring out in the ribbed ones some more materials and colours for i was gonna say christmas it's because i've still got the christmas decks up this is actually probably one of the last videos that you'll see with the christmas decks up just going on a slight detour you know but i hope for spring in the ribbed materials they do like maybe some lilacs some pastel greens and blues i think i've got a pastel blue though definitely need to do an itinerary my lovelies but yeah as i say notice the price are going a bit up but have no fear there is underwear in here all right right 
I don't quite know what I was thinking when I picked these up. I think I was channeling like my inner Austin Powers vibes. Don't quite know how they're gonna look in the try on clip. I might not even be able to get them on. But you know what? I've seen a lot of flare trousers about lately, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give that a go. I know I'm like five foot nothing. I think I'm what my five two, five three for reference. So I am sure. I saw these and mum was just like, ugh. They're not going to be to everyone's taste, I know. These were £8. Now, they did have a matching, like, faux fur cardigan to go with these, but wasn't really feeling my vibe. So, they literally go down, and they are just flares. So, you will see in the trial clip whether they actually worked, if they fit or not. That's the main thing. And, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to keep these, but I just thought I had to show you because they had a big section in this style. I don't know if it's to do with, like, a Valentine's Day coming up next month. There was a lot of reds, a lot of pinks, but maybe they could have thought of a different style of pattern, perhaps, and not, like, a leopard tiger stripe because... I think you've got to be very brave to wear something like that. And I don't quite know if I'm there yet, my lovelies, you know. I don't quite know if I'm there just yet. Right. Oh, let's go with these. Classic standard. These are a godsend. They do them in grey as well. And I think I saw a cream pair. £2.50. Classic cycling shorts. But these are a little bit shorter. I think they call these, like, booty shorts. I think that's the correct terminology. But... If you was with me last summer, you know how much I love my cycling shorts. That is what I am in 24-7 when it gets warm. I can't really be doing with skirts. Even if I wear a skirt, there is cycling shorts underneath. Because your girl gets chub rubbed from her thighs, alright? It's not pleasant. It's quite painful and it hurts. So, cycling shorts. And as I say, because these are a bit short, I'm sure they're called like a booty short. I don't know whether I will show you these on because we need to see whether that's see-through or not. So I might just insert a little bit of text along here. But if they're literally just for under baggy tees, it's not really going to bother me. If I'm literally just going to wear that with a crop top, then it can't be see-through. But yeah, 250 I mean, you can't go wrong, can you? Some of the cycling shorts, however, like, I have started to, like, go through my wardrobe and try and change a little bit over. And I have quite a cycling short obsession. I didn't think it until I saw them all there and I was like, um, okay then, moving swiftly on. Right, so I did get another pair of boots and these fit like a dream. Oh my God. Now, if you know me, I love a good chunky sole boot, right? Let's say, for example, these are, well, I say my most recent purchase. These were before Christmas from River Island. I like a nice chunky sole nice and high elasticated because your girl needs some height all right these were from river island i think that was about 50 quid primark however do a little similar version not as tall but how i mean it's basically a dupe ain't it these were 20 pounds now i've got these in a size four and they fit perfectly because they're elasticated however i would say when you first put them on stretch the elastic outwards before you put it in because if you just try and slip them on and then like do it like that way whoo, no 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 give it a good old stretch to the side and then when you pop your feet in you will be good to go but they had these i love the sole on them chocolate brown which i thought i need because i want to get some more brands in the wardrobe and they also had them in black and cream leather i was really eyeing up the cream leather but they didn't have my size so I might be repurchasing the cream version next month because they're just great in there for 20 quid i mean i could keep my black ones for like best but they're great for just going out and not that i want to get them scuffed but you know it's not kind of like the end of the world if they got a bit scuffed i wouldn't mind as much as like if the river island ones got scuffed you're going to be pretty mad if them ones got scuffed so yeah love them and as i say they had so many styles they had like timberland dupes loads of military style boots as well ankle ones knee high ones and calf ones all with buckles and loads of like decorations and bits and bobs like that but i thought you know what i've got them i've got military boots i want some more brown boots and i saw them and i was just like you're going straight in the basket I've got another one of the classics. I like the good old dress that I'm wearing now. This was £8. 
as you know, ape hand is because you have the little hem and the frill at the bottom. But if you just have a plain swing style dress from Primark, they're normally six quid. And I have quite a lot of them. I think I have pretty much all of Primarks, but that's so good. That's so good for work, to dress up, for casual. I just absolutely love them. So I saw this one for £8. You'll see in the try on clip. It's kind of like red and kind of baby blue on the petals. Just a little long sleeve dress. And that's so soft. So, so soft. And as I say, it goes down, down, down. And the only difference with these, why you pay the £2 more, they have a little hem and a frill on the bottom, all right? But as I say, if you get them and they're the plain skater dress, if you're a proper OG, you will remember the 60s style twiggy brown geometric dress. Oh my God, I still love that to this day. That was six quid. I've got like an emerald greeny one, bottle green with white flowers on. Can't knock them, my lovelies. You absolutely can't knock them. I tell you what, if these fit, I'm going to be a blooming happy girl, right? So, Primark have got a big, a big section now for like hoodies and tracksuits and everything like that. But I couldn't see a matching hoodie with these. These were just singular on their own. But I thought, I'm not going to grumble. £6 for a pair of joggers, all right? They are drawstring. I got them in the maroon. But they all have these positivity messages. So this says, choose positivity, see the good in all things. Now, I would have loved it if they would have had a hoodie in this, but... I'm not going to grumble. And then they go down, 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 down. They're quite a nice looking at them, like a balloon style. They're not going to be too fitted, I hope. And then when they get to the bottom, they are cuffed, which you know your girl needs because being sure, I can't be having stuff like dragging on the floor. They had it in grey as well with some green writing. I can't remember what it said, but they also had hoodies, one in sage green and one in lilac with a positivity message on. But I thought I'd just stick with the joggers. And as I say... Six pan, I don't think you can go wrong. I do also need to go through like my joggers and my essentials and just kind of like the basics, for example, because my style has kind of changed with tracksuits. I used to get the really fitted ones and now I'm like, oh, no, thank you. I just want baggy. I want comfort. What is going on with my hair today? I just keep checking myself in the uh, viewfinder, my lovelies. Look at me checking myself. I'm just making sure I look presentable for you, all right? And yeah, my hair's, hair's going to be AY, my lovelies. I do apologise. Right. Oh, everything's getting hooked on the bag. That's delightful. Where are we? Where are we? Have we got anything? Where have we got some bits and bobs? Because I've got some accessories. Ah, is that one there? No, that's the tag. Where's my accessories that I've got? Because I really want to show you them. Right. The accessories, I found one lot, right, let's have a look, as we all know, I really want to get more into my rings this year, so I saw these, and it was three for two quid, which I didn't think was too bad, I do get a size small, but you've got one that's kind of like an all over crystal, one that kind of reminds me of like a signet ring in the middle, and then this one is just kind of like a bobble style ring, now I don't quite know you know that awkward thing when you're in the uh, shop and you're like, right, I'll try it on. And you just think, please do not get stuck. Please do not get stuck. So actually, oh no, she says, <gasps> no, oh, oh God, it's stuck. Ow, ow, oh. Oh, that was lucky, right. Maybe don't try them on when they're attached. Or like, don't try and wedge them down. Maybe my thumb is too fat for that style ring. Right, these are going to be finger rings, not thumb ring. Oh my goodness, that was... You know when you get that sickening feeling, like you think, oh my god, I'm going to have to get like it cut off. Oh my god, right. Crisis averted, my love, this crisis averted. So I got the pack for £2, and there is a pack in there in silver, because I like to mix and match, trying to get a bit more gold in my uh, collection as well, ain't I? Right, so let's have a look. I want to get a bit of a mixture. Oh, right. If your Primark store has the Baby Yoda Snoody, please let me know. Location, let me know. Your girl needs that. I went in and they had nothing. Of course, wouldn't it be funny then? Oh, they had nothing to do with Baby Yoda. My store, for some reason, had gone on a Simpsons obsession. Everywhere I looked in the nightwear selection, there were Simpsons. There was a Simpsons Snoody, which was £17. Now, I was very tempted to pick it up, 
but I have got my heart set on the Baby Yoda one. But what I did love was the Simpson pyjamas. So I picked up a nighty first of all. I did get quite a few bits of that pyjamas. This was £9. Is this not just the most perfect oversized nightshirt you've ever seen? But you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'd probably rock this with some cycling shorts and go out in it. Only bearing in mind if it's not see-through. But you've got like Milhouse, Bar, Lisa. I just thought this was absolutely fab. And you know what? After this, I think I might even go and watch some Simpsons. I ain't seen Simpsons in ages. But yeah, I saw that. And as I say, the snooty was bright yellow. It had all of the faces, Home and Marge, the baby, all of the Simpson family. I think they had Ned in it as well. 17 quid. Not a bad price, my lovelies. But I have got my heart set on Baby Yoda. So... Fingers crossed I might be able to see that for next month, eh? Right. See, like we're sticking with the brand theme. I picked up this ribbed, high neck, long sleeve, long dress. Kind of reminds me of the one that I picked up from Asda just before Christmas. But the Asda one was almost like chenille, teddy bear, softy cotton material. This is just a plain rib. So this was £15 again. I picked it up in a size 10 that is the back and that is the front so as you can see it's kind of like a camel color ribbed and long sleeve and then it goes down 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 and all around you'll see in the trial clip but i just thought it was really nice i'm hoping it's not going to be too figure hugging because the gray one i thought would be very loose and it actually turned out to be quite a figure hugging one which i actually really like so i thought you know what that's like motivation to try and lose some weight but kind of want one that's a bit baggy so that i can just chuck it on if i'm not feeling great like not that this is going to be a dress when i'm not feeling great you know what i mean but like if you do have a bit of bloat or if you're going for a meal and you can have a little bit of a food belly just have something to hide it but you also get the versatility of drawing it in with a belt as well so who knows you would have seen in the trial clip whether that got a thumbs up or a thumbs down because as i say i don't try these on until after my lovely so you get the first impressions here but Go and get comfy because we're about halfway through the bag and let's get in with part two, shall we? Are you feeling refreshed? Because we've got another half a bag to do. Right. I kind of just bought everything and anything. I've got quite a mixture, but it seems that I really wanted dresses this month. So, I don't shout at me when you see this. We all know how much I loved well, I still do love, because I've got quite a few of them, my Plissé trousers. So they're from Primark. They come out from spring and are for the spring and summer months. Plissé culottes, because they're not a full trouser. They come probably between, well, no, probably like halfway through my calf. So I've got a black Plissé pair. I've got a rust Plissé pair. I've got a lilac and white stripe. And I've got white with, like, tropical birds on. Now, I love that. I've also got Plissé in shorts. And I may have also ordered from somewhere that might be coming soon um, a Plissé top. But I don't know how I'm going to feel with a Plissé dress. Now, I picked this up because I thought, you know what? We might as well give it a go. But I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to feel about it. So, it is, as you can see, a black Plissé dress. This was £18. It's long sleeves with cuffs at the bottom. And then it goes down, 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 down and all around. So you will see in the try on clip, I don't know how I would style this. I'm thinking this is going to be more dressy with a belt with some heels. Kind of along that vibe. I don't think you can get away with this material for casual. Oh, Canon. You know what I'm going to say, my lovelies. Right. Sit tight. Need to go and change the battery. I'll be right back. There we go, I'm back. Good. Either my memory card saying you're talking too much or the battery saying you're talking too much. I think I need a camera with unlimited memory and unlimited battery, don't you, my lovelies? Right, so anyway, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by Canon, I think this will be one more for the evening. It does look, it's very thin, but I don't think it's going to be see-through because the trousers and my shorts aren't see-through. They're actually really good quality. £18, however, it is a bit pricey. But you've always got the option to put a big belt on this and jazz it up. Or if you really just want to have plain Jane, which I'm probably not going to lie, I think I would probably just go plain Jane. Let's say you would have seen in the trial clip how I've done it. But 
I just saw it and I thought, you know what? We all know how much I love the material. Let's just give it a go in a dress and see what happens, eh? Right. There was a three piece and they only had my size in two pieces. Now I have no idea if they're going to fit me. But your girl can only hope, alright? So I picked something similar up to this. Was it November or December? And it was just a no-go. I think I picked up shorts similar to this. And pfft, definitely not. So we all know how much I love like dog tooth and hands tooth. They had this top which was £9. I got it in a size 10. And it's kind of like a little suit crop top so as i say it was paired with shorts but they didn't have my size they only had a 16 or a 6 and i was like no way will my leg fit in a 6 and a 16 might be a tad too big for me so i thought i'll pick up the top and the main piece itself which is in there and on the back it is a zip now i don't quite know how this is going to work because your girl has quite a bit of back fat at the minute and it doesn't have much stretch you know we're all about the stretch here it doesn't it's very very fitted so you will see in the try on clip whether i got it on or if not i'm going to insert some very sad text at the bottom here being like just an update couldn't even get it right it might be that i won't be able to wear a bra with it i might have to like leave the girls free but it is quite a big bit of material so they'll be nice and covered but yes yeah, so as i say i got that and the thing I love with like two pieces and three pieces, you don't have to wear them all together. So that will look great with say like a pencil skirt or some trousers and the blazer when I get it out. Or you can just wear it completely on its own. That would still look great with a normal plain black blazer. But I absolutely love this when I saw it. And I didn't think it was too badly priced. So the piece de resistance. how gorgeous is that so it is this checkered dog tooth hands tooth blazer it's 25 pound the buttons i absolutely love come on canon you see that it's kind of like a crest it looks like a royal crest so on the mannequin it had one mannequin with it open and then one mannequin with it done up it has a button plain button where are you Oh no, oh it's not, it does go up. So, would I have this done up or not? I don't know. Looking at this though, I should have perhaps got say a few sizes bigger because that would have been lovely as a blazer dress, wouldn't it? That could be an idea. So you could perhaps size up and have it as a blazer dress, but I just saw it and I absolutely loved it. I do have a blazer, very similar styling to this, like with the dog too, but it is actually Mama G's. It is a size... 14 so it's oversized on me but it's like from the 80s i'm gonna say and it has a big black velvet collar and big shoulder pads and i thought you know what this is kind of like my generation's version in a way so i really really hope that fits because even if the top doesn't i really hope the blazer this year you're probably thinking you're going to talk about fashion but you're buying from primark i don't want to buy toot let's just say but that's not saying from Primark, everything you get, like whether it be a basic pyjamas or that, is took. That, I don't think you could go wrong. If you saw that in Zara, that would probably cost you what? 60, 70, 80 quid? 25 quid with Primark. And I just think, I know I do like Primark hauls and yes, I might not keep all of it, but I do keep a fair bit. But it's stuff, you'll know from last year, I want to try and get like multi-seasonal bits. So the dresses, if they work, great. Because I can wear them in the spring and the summer because they're flowy. And I can also wear them in the autumn. Perhaps not the winter. So at least if I get three seasons out of it, chuck on a jacket, fedora boots, you're good to go. I do want to try and get more sustainable to a point. I'm not going to be paying ridiculous money for clothing. Like, I would love to be able to afford to shop in Zara and all that. And... Or some other places. See, look, this shows how much I know. I normally buy my clothes, my love, is from Primark, Matalam, Tesco or Asda. New look and River Island occasionally. I'm never one to really go in Zara. I would like to try Zara. If you think that is something that I should try, let me know down below. But as I say, I couldn't justify going in and paying £80 for a blazer. It may be that I have that blazer 10 years, which is what I need to 
kind of getting the mindset off but for now i just want to get like multi-seasonal bits and then i can look more at the sustainability and the products and everything like that so yes i really hope that fit you would have seen that in the try on clip i just hope and pray that that fits now something that i know is gonna fit as i say we have underwear your girl has got some more one pound thongs so i've got a three pack this time three pairs for three pounds all right we have got, you know these, the classic, but I thought this was a little bit saucy. Bit of a leopard print for upcoming Valentine's Day, perhaps. So you've got the leopard print, and then it's just simply a plain white and a plain black. My lovelies, you cannot go wrong for these. You can buy them singly on their own for a quid. They're normally always at the checkout. Because that's where they try and lure you to buy stuff that you don't need. And I can never just pick up one. I always pick up like two or three. But as I say, they didn't have, and I'm on the lookout, for more high-waisted, high-leg knickers. If you remember from, was it November and December? I've fallen in love with that style now. And I can't seem to find them in any of my local stores. So, I am on the hunt. But, three for three quid, straight in the basket. You didn't have to tell me twice, alright? Then, as I say, I got some more pyjamas from Simpsons, didn't I? Little bit pricier, as I say. The night shirt was £9, but I think you're going to pay it because it's like... Who makes it? Is it DreamWorks? 20th Television. That's the company. So, you're going to pay a bit more because it's branded. So, the top was £7. It's just this dark charcoal short sleeve ribbed, kind of cropped. It's not a full length top. And it says, a little Miss Perfect love that and then the bottoms right so the bottoms are oh i think these were 10 pound the price has been ripped off but i'm sure these were 10 pounds however they're like jogger material so they've just got all of lisa's face on and then when you come down they are cuffed which is an absolute godsend so it is pricey it is 17 quid for the pajama set but you're paying because it's a bit of Simpsons and I'm just a sucker for pyjamas, ain't I? You know me, your girl loves a good pair of PJs. Now, I don't know why I picked this up because I'm really not cool enough to wear this. But I thought I'd give it a go, so don't laugh, alright? I picked up this, I think it's a shacket for £15. The first thing that drew me to it was the colour. So it is this gorgeous, like, bottle green. It's got steel for studding, which I absolutely love. The sizing of it, again, I probably could have upsized and maybe had it as like a shirt dress perhaps. But I think the main vibe of it is like a shacket. So it is a faux leather bottle green, as I say. And then it's all the details. So you've got like buttons on the sleeve. You've got your buttons going down there. You've got a pocket. I don't know if I am cool enough to rock this what do we think i think it'll have to go with a very plain outfit and maybe not like i don't think i would wear leather look leggings with this i probably would actually just wear this over the dress that i've got on now that could be a quite a nice little pairing but we shall see and 15 quid i don't think is too bad as i say i've done a little order with a place that i have recently fallen back in love with for clothes actually um and i raided that sale section I'm not gonna lie, your girl raided that sale section. And I have actually purchased a shacket from there. I'm waiting for it to come. It's gonna take, they reckon, about two weeks because there's like problems with delays and stock and everything like that. So they said expect up to, I think it was like 10 working days, so two weeks. Fingers crossed that will be a haul coming maybe early Feb. I'm not entirely sure, but I've actually got some really nice pieces. And again, if they fit, your girl's gonna be very happy right i love this love this love this love this this was from that basic selection again it was six pound and look i picked it up in a small to medium it's dog tooth it's just a plain long sleeve dog tooth top the only thing i hope it's not too see-through because i'm thinking when that's stretched over the girls You'll see in the try on clip, I might have to wear a white bra with it. But I love these, again, because you can pair them with something plain. This with a skirt and that jacket could work, perhaps. And as I say, if it's dog tooth, 
you know your girl's gonna get it and it is a super soft material as i say it's not as thick as the ribbed ones so it may be the same price but it's definitely not to the thickness of it so we'll have to see because you see like that i'm just pulling it apart and where the pattern stretches out might be a little bit see-through so we'll have to have a look on that in the try on clip but as i say they actually had quite a lot of styles of them and i had to refrain myself they had a really nice um brown dog tooth one but i thought don't want to go overkill and then just flood my wardrobe with brown i've got to be selective with a few pieces right i didn't mind this this was a full pan my lovelies and it's just a basic tea lovely little maroon color and it says keep on smiling as i say because they've got a very big like positivity range at the moment but i did quite like the collar it's got like a thick ribbed collar in a way and then as i say you see keep on smiling again it's just gonna have to see with the see-throughness test you'll see in the trial clip but this it's just cash in it i absolutely love the little slogan tees i am gonna go through and have like a big clear out of my slogan tees because some of the slogans i might not relate to anymore and there is just a lot of them so i think four pound it's not breaking the bank there's me saying i want stuff for like more sustainability and all of that but sometimes you get what you pay for and cheap and cheerful does for me like that's great in the spring and summer just to chuck on going to work you know i don't really like to wear my nice stuff to work because i think that when i come out of work and i go to wear it i will just resonate with work stuff so did I want to say work any more times in that sentence? Who knows, eh? And then, right, is this the last one? Right, this is the last dress, my lovelies, okay? As I say, I did get a little bit dress happy. This one was £13, and Mama G straight off the bat was like, nope. No, 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 no. But I quite liked it. That just shows how different mine and Mama G styles are. I am possibly thinking, let me know if you want to see it down below, doing a video maybe like early mid feb time of mama g if i give her a budget or say like two free outfits to go and do a primark shop for me just to see what she would style me as because as i say we are completely different with our styling but i saw this it was 13 pounds and again it's the lovely baby blue floral print this one comes down and it's buttoned so it's a little bit more cheeky the sleeves are not cuffed so that's the only thing that I was a bit like oh and it comes down but it's not down 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 you'll see more in the trial clip because I'm making an absolute pig's ear trying to hold it up and show you but it just comes down the only thing I'm thinking now looking at it the buttons they might not actually stretch against the thighs you know sometimes when you have something on your thighs and then like it just gapes and you can see through no one needs to see that Shannon Lee so hopefully it fits or will I insert the sad text being like wah, wah, wah. it didn't fit my lovelies but yeah as I say and they had loads of these styles like the maxi long ones the little midi ones perfect for like afternoon tea and like spring days out you know and then oh the second pack of rings I'm not gonna try these on this time because I think we know I've kind of had a panic attack oh no oh was i so silly their initial rings oh my god i thought the one that i picked up it's actually i i thought it was the gemini because i've just looked at this and it says e oh no right okay i might have to take these back and exchange them and try and find an s but again, they are great. Oh no. I don't even know anyone whose name begins with E. Oh, that's a bummer, isn't it? Right, have no fear. Right, definitely don't put them on your fingers, girl, because you're going to have to take these back. I'm going to try and exchange these and see if I can see an S. I think that's what we're going to go for because I do like that. And I actually do really like the middle one because it's like a signet version. Or what could I have E stand for? E for Essex. Oh, God, no. Well, I could do. I am classed as being from Essex, regardless of what geography says. It does class me as Essex. Who knows? But, yes, absolutely love them. Oh, Shannon Lou. See, I was in such a rush. I went in my lunch break the other day, and I just clearly did not pay attention. And then the last two things, my lovelies, we're going to finish it out on. Some keep fit bits. Your girl is going to try and get in shape. As we speak... I have cancelled my gym membership, as you will remember. 
but I haven't rejoined the other gym. Um, Mother Nature weekend is coming up, so the gym is the last thing on my mind, to be perfectly honest. I think that I'm going to wait for her to go, let her do a thing and go, and then I will probably go down to my local centre maybe the week after and try and join. As long as I'm joined by like early Feb, I don't mind that, I don't mind that. Right, this was £8. Again, I got it in a size small, but I love this. So it's like black leopard print. It's quite soft. I don't know if it's that insulated sweatproof material. It is cropped, but it's long sleeved. I love a long sleeve top because as we all know, I don't like my arms. Do not like my arms. They're chubby and I need to get them gone. But, oh my goodness. I've just tried to put my hands in that. <gasps> I might not even be able to get these on my arms. Right, we're going to have to see in the trial clip. This might be a squeeze, okay? Your intentions are good, Shan. The body may not. So it might be in the workout size we have to size up. We will have to see. And then to match them, I got the shorts. These are more like the cycling shorts. And these were but about £6. So £18 for a set. And as you can see, they've got the high waistband and they do come down a bit longer than the £2.50 ones. They also had a sports bra, which was £8. They didn't have my size in that. And they also had the leggings version, which were 8 or 10 So even for that, £14 is still a hell of a lot cheaper than what you may pay from some of the other brands. All I keep seeing at the moment is Gymshark. Your girl has not got the money to be spending on Gymshark. So Primark. I remember, or did I get it when I was on YouTube or before? I picked up a dupe from Primark of a super dry workout set. It was a grey into aqua green. And I think the set cost me like £16. And in super dry, the exact same, like literally same colour wave, everything. But because it had super dry, it was like £45. I'm not about that. Gym wear, my lovelies. As long as it's comfy, I just sweat in it. I don't need to be looking good at the gym. I'm not there to impress anyone. I don't care if anyone looks at me like, ugh. You go to the gym to have a good sweat. I'm not one of these that like on the treadmill or Snapchat. No. I have been that person that, say, for example, when I used to go to the gym, if people were just sitting on a mat or a bench and not doing anything, I'd be like, excuse me, are you using that? Like, can you? And they'd say, oh, no, sorry. Or somebody be like, yeah. And I'd think, no, you ain't done it because I've seen you sit there for 10 minutes. You've done two sit-ups and now you're just sitting on your phone. That does really aggravate me. I like gyms where people just go, they have no pretenses and they go to sweat. That is what gyms are about and that is what your girl is probably going to be doing for February. But my lovelies, our recyclable bag for the first full of Primark is done. <laughs> so as I say, I have not tried these on yet, so you would have seen in the trial clips, whichever way I put them, whether they got the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Who knows, did they pass the stretch test or were they just mm -mm, not going over the girls or the booty? Who knows? But as I say, I am very excited. Primark have got a lot of good stuff in at the moment. Like, this is a lot. But I could have got a lot more. It was only for the fact that I had a limited time. As I say, I went in my lunch break, so I couldn't go fully in, you know. I had to be within my restraints. I think I had about half an hour. That was to do the shopping and pay. And paying took me 15 minutes. So you go done all this in 15 minutes. Kind of like a supermarket sweep dash. Ain't it? Supermarket sweep dash, but in Primark. A Primark dash. Anyway, your girl is rambling. I do hope you enjoyed this video. As I say, you seem to love a good haul in Primark. You guys seem to love a good bit of Primark on the channel. So if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And say, leave me a comment. What was your favourite part from the haul? Anything that you're going to be keeping a little eye out for? The boots? Do you like them in the brown? Or are you more the cream or the black? What is your thinking? The blazer, did that get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I don't quite know yet. Is anyone else trying to get into the uh, spirit of keeping fit? And if so, where do you go get your workout clothes, for example? Because, say, I'm always on the hunt for bargains. Don't be coming at me with Gymshark and, what's it, Under Armour and all of that jazz. I want cheap and cheerful, all right? But as I say, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I'm going to try and get better at that. I want to let you get on with your day because you don't need to be sitting there listening to me waffle, do you? But as I say, take care. Stay safe as always, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.